Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you guys a teacher outfits video. I'm gonna be sharing with you four teacher outfits. I originally filmed this intro and nothing was in focus, so I am refilming it now. Um, we are about to head out to dinner, but I wanted to refilm this and just put it in the beginning of this video. So, like I said, you are gonna see four different teacher outfits, and if this is a video that you enjoy, if you like seeing the outfits that I put together for when I'm teaching, um, just be sure to give this video a thumbs up and that way I know. If you are new, my name is Michelle and I am an elementary art teacher, but I'm soon switching to middle school and high school art. So the outfits that you see though are for um, me teaching still at my elementary art placement. And if you are interested in seeing how I transition to middle school and high school and my move and another classroom setup, be sure to subscribe. All right guys, without further ado, let's get into the teacher outfits. So for today's outfit, day one, I am wearing this dress. I got this dress from Old Navy. Um, it's so comfortable. It is perfect for fall just because of, I feel like the colors that it has with like the warm colors and then the black. And actually, let me take my cardigan off for you because it's really cute Had with the sleeves. I was just kind of chilly, so I put that on. But these sleeves have like a scallopy extra fabric there that I think is just so pretty and feminine. Um, I love the little V right here. The cardigan that I'm wearing is a Liz Claiborne cardigan, just a nice soft like tan cardigan. I got this from JCPenney. Um, and then my shoes I actually also got from JCPenney, so I can show you that as well. Now the sleeves do have a lot of fabric, so this is a nice big comfy cardigan, which is why I chose it today. That way it wouldn't be like tight on the, all that sleeve fabric but I'm just gonna pull that down and then it works fine um I just think it adds like a nice little layer to the dress plus for some reason my room's cold today my room's usually really hot but today I'm cold so um yeah I need a little sweater on and I like to layer too when I'm teaching just because you never know how it's gonna be sometimes in your classroom and I know a lot of teachers who just keep a little sweater in their classroom all the time I think that's smart because then you can just put it on take it off you know, you're like ready for whatever it's going to be that day. I don't know if about you guys, but my classroom just seems like it fluctuates, especially if I have the kiln on for clay, temperature spikes up in my room. So you just, I always try to bring something like this that I can take off too. My earrings today are these kind of like medallion-y cool ones. I got these forever ago, probably from Target. Um, yeah, but I really like them because they're long and I have my hair up in a bun and when I have my hair up I kind of like to wear long dangly earrings like this. I also have my Apple watch on which you will see I wear it every single day. I use it for teaching constantly and then also something you'll see that I wear every day are my mantra bands which are these two gold ones. The one mantra band says bloom where you are planted. My husband got me that. And then the other one says you're my person. My best friend got me that. And then this one that says grateful is from the little words project. Um, I wore this one on my wedding day and it really is so pretty. I love the beads and everything in it. It's beautiful. They have a bunch of different kind with different words. Um, if you want to check it out, I'll put the link down below. Okay, so in the mirror, you can kind of see my shoes a little better. So these little wedges I got from JCPenney. Um, in the one vlog, I wore these, and I remember complaining to you guys that my feet hurt so bad. They are getting way better. They just have to be worn in. Right now, I am wearing, like, Band-Aids kind of where they hit me, but um, I can already tell they're so much nicer than they were. So I do like wearing heels to school. I know a lot of people, it's not their cup of tea, but... I, I don't know, I just, I don't mind it. If it's a big chunky heel like this, I don't have a problem. I'm usually pretty comfortable in them. Um, it just depends on the shoe, but once I find a good one, I try to stick with it and I wear it all the time. As I'm sure you guys know, I do wear a lot of dresses to work. And yes, I do right now work with elementary students. Um, so pro tip, if you are a teacher and you wanna wear dresses, but you don't have to worry about anything, I will leave a link below to the shorts that I wear under my dresses. I'm not gonna show you them because they're like spandex, um, but they're so comfortable. They're not tight. Like when I say they're like spandex, they're against my skin, but they're not super tight. Like it's not like a spank situation. They're just there to basically be a safety net, I guess if you will. Like I don't have to worry about it. Um, and also if you're a girl like me, wear you have your thighs rubbed together because they love each other just too much. These will prevent that too. So 
you're welcome. All right guys, it is a new day and a new outfit and today is one of those days where it's a fundraiser so we get to wear jeans. So I'm excited because then I get to share with you kind of what I would wear for a more casual like jean day at school. Um, I know some of you probably can wear jeans anytime that you want to but my school is a little different. We have specific days where we can dress down and wear jeans usually on Fridays or something like that. So one of my favorite things to do on jean days is pair it with a graphic tee about teaching. Um, I just think it's fun and I, don't know, I, I like to expand my collection of graphic t-shirts. Some of my favorite t-shirt companies or people, the Right Stuff Chicks, that's the shirt I'm wearing right now and I'll talk a little bit more about the other shirts that I got from them also. So the Right Stuff Chicks, um, the Cutesy Class, I like her stuff a lot too. My friend Vanessa at my Second Grade Life does shirts and um, I have one that says Kindness Matters, I really like that one. And then my sweet, sweet friend Jess has a whole line of shirts with her Hustle Sanely line. I will put the links to like my favorite places to get my graphic t-shirts below. So back to this one, this one is by the Right Stuff Chicks and I get a lot from them and um, they have a really good selection. So I just got three new ones including this one so two other new ones for the school year. I will put them kind of like pictures right here so that you can see what they look like. Really cute. Love them. This one says mistakes happen, hashtag a growth mindset. And that mindset, that growth mindset, mistakes can happen, make them into masterpieces. That's something that my students know is really important to me and something that I try to instill in them is when you're making a mistake in art, just switch it up, make it into a masterpiece, change it somehow, fix it somehow, roll with the punches kind of um, mindset. So instead of just having that t-shirt, I always just put a little cardigan or sweater or something over top. I mean, not always, but I don't know. If um, I can, if I'm not going to be too hot, I will just because I think it makes, makes it look a little nicer. So I'm not even a big jean person. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I hate, honestly hate jeans. Um, but these are actually really, really comfortable. I got these from JCPenney. I brightened it up so you can see them, but it's a nice wash. They're really comfortable around my waist and they fit like my thighs and everything really well. I feel like that's the problem with jeans is for me um, to fit my height and then also like my waist and my hips and everything and just getting that combination is always a little a little tricky because I'm tall. Um, even these though, they are not long enough. I rolled them up a little bit just because I find that if they're not long enough it, and they're not rolled, it looks weird. But like if you give a little tuck with the cuff it looks a little nicer at least and I also always tuck in my graphic tees I think it just looks a little more polished and cute um, and then my shoes are honestly the star of my outfit today <laughs> they are a new day that's the brand at Target and yeah my kindergartners absolutely love when I wear these and when I sit at the carpet and read to them um, it's quite tempting not to touch them to be honest so when I wear them, I need to prepare myself. I'm going to have a bunch of little hands trying to grab my feet. Today, I was inspired by kind of fall and the warm colors. Um, it's not fall in temperature by any means, but I wanted to kind of dress fall and just be cozy and comfy in a nice sweater. So I have this dress from Target. It has little sleeves so I can wear it just, you know, as a normal dress too if I get warm. Um, but then I put over it this comfy, cozy big brown sweater. It's so comfortable. This sweater I got last season from Old Navy. I'll just roll up the sleeves because it is a bit long. Here is what it looks like. I love how long the sweater is. I like when they're as long as the dress. I think that's cute. And then my heels I have on are the ones that I got from JCPenney. For my earrings, I have on these earrings. I have my normal bracelets. I have um, my grateful bracelet and two mantra bands and then for my watch I did switch out my band today I have on a leather wrap band that I got from Amazon and I can put a link to that below um, because I get always asked where I get that but I get most of my watch bands from Amazon so yeah that is my outfit today my lips I will go get my lip color because um, it's the same color I was wearing what video was it maybe my Amazon favorites video I was asked what my lip color was and it's the same stuff so I'll go get that to show you. It is Huda Beauty Demi Matte 
So I love this stuff um, because it's not super matte where it's drying out my lips, but it's not like glossy or anything either. I like a demi matte. I used to go for just matte lipstick, but it would just dry out my lips too much. So this is a really good one. I got it at Sephora. It is in the shade M-O-G-U-L. I don't know. I'll put it down there. <laughs> hey guys, I'm excited to bring you outfit number four. So for today, I wanted to put together something a little different for you. I think you're used to seeing me in a comfy dress with a cardigan or a comfy dress for leggings or something like that or teacher tees. But today I wanted to just do something a little more unique. For today's outfit, I am wearing a jumper and I just paired it with a white long sleeve shirt. This shirt's really warm actually too. Um, and it's a v-neck, which is the same as my jumper. Since I have that repetitive neckline of my undershirt and my jumper, I wanted to pair it with a long necklace. So I got this forever ago at, um, I think Target, but it's this pretty blue and you might have even seen it on my channel before because I do wear it pretty often. I've been trying to just get some staple pieces of jewelry that I like um, and kind of get rid of stuff that I don't use. Okay, so now you can see it a little bit better. Here is the black jumper, um, the just white plain shirt underneath I paired it with and then it's a little bit cropped and then of course it has pockets too which I just absolutely love and I just have it with some plain black flats I thought that went really well with it but just like a black and white look very simple and it's just like really soft silky material so it's super comfortable I got the jumper from um, Target and this is just like a basic shirt for I don't even know where um, and then the shoes I think I've got these black that's from Target too. So on this jumper I have kind of like a little side tie. So with that, that will wrap up my teacher outfit video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. That way I know that you like this content. That way I can do more of it and share with you what I'm wearing while I am teaching. So give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!